What's going on, Relocators? Today I'm going to talk about three things you should know about looking for a low-income house tax credit community. Number one, most of you guys have been commenting and just calling tons of apartments, looking for apartments that actually take um, Section 8, or you're trying to look for the good deals while you're in another state, and I know it's difficult. But what I want to I want to encourage you guys is while you're calling these apartments, is pretty much ask them. I, just be prepared that they're going to tell you that they're fully occupied. So that way, when you go and call them, you're not expecting anything. So just understand that everybody is also looking for an apartment that's not as expensive as every other community you've been calling. So there is going to be a waiting list. A lot of people are wanting to find an apartment that they can pay seven, eight, nine hundred dollars, right? So when you talk to the leasing consultant, just ask her, what are the things that I need to do so I can get on that list? A lot of times, yes, you might think the list is long, but it's probably not because a lot of people get sick and tired. People don't have patience. So you might have that opportunity to get on the list and be called sooner than anybody else. But also you have to understand that while they're waiting, they're also in another, they're probably in another community and they're basically in a contract. And a lot of times they can get out of that contract to take advantage of the apartment that they just got called for. So there's a lot of factors in why a, a someone is not going to, you know, wait, to, you know, to get an apartment in one of these communities. So get on the list and just basically, you know, make sure you understand the logistics of what you, what you need to know and be prepared so when they do call you you are ready to go and you're ready to lease all right so that's number one number two you also want to ask if they take section eight a lot of affordable housing do not take section eight a lot of low income housings they do so ask the section eight if they take your voucher and then that way you can also know basically what are the requirements because number three you do have to record you have to basically make the um, twice or three times the rent to move into any community even if you take section eight so keep in mind that even if you're looking for an affordable housing or low income tax credit community you still have to be approved you still have to show that you make twice or three times the rent so you're able to pay your bills and also live here in central florida so those are three things that you want to keep in mind i hope they help you if you have a friend that, or a family member that are relocating share this message share this video with a friend and family if they're actually in in the process of relocating and also visit my website at www.orlandofloridarelocator where you're able to get a lot of resources and also you can get your guide if you're looking for a guide to help you and get familiarized with this with the area you definitely want to get this guide to help you guys out and start your move share this video with a friend and fam with a friend or a family member that's in the process of relocating Don't don't forget to subscribe and um, basically support this this channel so I can bring you guys a lot more information useful information that can help you make some moves all right guys thank you so much and I will see you guys in the next video